Okay, so I'm going to add that to the checklist of shit that happens when I'm careless. It's right up there alongside, uh, ah, me coming to this goddamn facility in the first place. Honestly though, I mean, I should have thought that through. It was a creaky elevator for god's sake. If I enter that and use it, I'm practically begging to be drowned in a body full of liquids fatal to the human body. Or head, rather. No point in complaining though. <sighs> that was stupid. But yeah, I'll have plenty of time to complain when I'm, you know, dead. I mean, it's bound to happen sooner or later, so, you know, there's really no point in dwelling on it right now. Oh look, the ladder even leads into the radioactive pit. Reality's not even being subtle at this point. <sighs> okay, well, um, hopefully my cries are heard and I've given enough time to at least turn on the fucking generator. Uh... A, 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 a science! Uh, 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 a lie. Uh, uh, another person. I, I, I thought you were all dead. Uh, right, per personal space. <clears throat> what, 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 what was, what was that? Came back. Uh, right. Y yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, what? I am lost. Uh, hey, uh, this uh, leads to the generator, right? I guess I'll go and turn that on for you guys. But enough about what's on my mind. What's on yours? I hope those guards made it to the fuel annex. Oh, the fuel annex. I dealt with that. The guard that told me about it was a bit reluctant to go, though. Can't really blame him. Once that creature is out of the way, we can make our escape through the old rail tunnels. Oh, yeah! The rail system! I completely forgot! That's how I'm going to be getting to the Lambda team. Well, thanks for reminding me. I'll go and handle that generator for you. I'll be right back. Wow, seriously though, only my dumbass would forget about the whole Lambda Team thing. What am I, a dementia patient? Whatever. Once the generator's turned on, we'll be able to rid the world of this HP Lovecraft abomination. And only after that will we be able to focus on the larger issue at hand. Oh, and what issue would that be? A bewildered stranger asks as I recite my life story on a park bench. Oh, you know, why I still don't have a helmet? But for real though, I am 100% fully trying to save the world. And I need to save the world so I can tell my life story on a park bench and use that as a stinger. My autobiography isn't gonna write itself. Speaking of autobiographies... I just cut yours short. Sorry, but the ends justify the means. And besides, I don't really think your species is capable of producing a coherent thought. All you guys really do is hang off of ceilings and expect things to walk into your tongue. I mean, for God's sake, you don't even discriminate. You take up boxes, barrels, and even explosives. A sentient paper towel would come up with a better plan. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but maybe evolution will put your species back on track. Sooner or later. Oh, wow, this must be the generator then. Yeah, this is pretty generator-y, and that over there must be the power source. How to get it in is the question, though. Oh, well, um, that answers my question. Anyways, now it's time to put this sucker in and put the world's problems to rest. Or my problem. Or the facilities, uh, which means it's the world's problem. Semantics. Where's the switch, though? I mean, uh, my hiding spot. Oh, Jesus I'm not Christ! Until the situation is drastically improved. Okay, now but go away and uh, don't tell anyone I'm here. Yeah, fine. I can do that since nobody would want to know that your condescending ass is here, anyways. Go away. I'm trying to help you stay alive, but if you want to die alone, that's fine. Don't come crawling to me when you're getting mauled. What's fascinating is your mentality. Stay safe, asshole. God, what a fucking prick. Just as bad as the asshole in the office complex. What was it he said again? I'm not going to follow you to your deaths or some shit like that? Well, whatever, I'm still alive, dickhead! Oh, um... You know, since we're on the topic of dead, uh... I need you to deal with this grenade for me, Mr. Squid Face. Thanks. But, uh, yeah, while on the topic of being dead, I... Oh my god. I might not have the best sense of smell, but Jesus, this is rank. Ugh, God, how long has it even been? It has to have been like, what, eight hours, right? Isn't that when a corpse starts to give off an odor? Never mind, I don't want to know, nor do I care, even though it's everywhere. Oh yeah, the power's on. Glad I got that done. Continuing on the concept of everywhere, I have covered the areas necessary in destroying the gigantic tentacle monster that nobody likes. 
Oxygen, fuel, and now power. All that's left is time. You know, in regards to time, I'm actually concerned about the military. I mean, they're trying to silence thousands upon thousands of people, as well as an alien invasion. They've only been dealing with the quote-unquote normal aliens and myself, and they're already bombing the place. If that's not- Oh, wow, you guys are right on time! Not in the mood for internal ble- Jeez! Yeah, you see? This is what the military has to deal with. I've been dealing with the same and then some. Also, uh, yeah, you do you, Mr. Alien. You do you. Oh, hey, there you are. So, how's that dial looking? Excellent. Someone has restored all power. Actually, You'll that was the me. engine up again in no time. Oh, you guys have to get it to... Uh, yeah, that sounds like a plan. I'll go to the control room and I'll... I'll fire the rocket engine and we'll be good. Uh, good luck on the whole rocket thing. Well, shit, that didn't exactly go to plan. I mean, it did, but about 85% of the plan I had in mind. Now I have to fire that stupid rocket engine all by myself and I might not even do it right. <sighs> well, everything's depending on whether or not Black Mesa was as incompetent back in the 50s as it is now. I mean, seriously, one big red button? That's a cinematic cliche. Next thing I know, once I destroy this tentacle monster, this fat bald dude with an eye patch is going to rise out of the pit, stroking his handlebar mustache as well as his white cat saying, you haven't even dealt with the worst of the aliens yet. Laughing as he descends back into the darkness or wherever bad guys reside. You know, I make some pretty cool ideas. I mean, like, of course, that's coming from me, so it's going to be biased. But I, I think they'd do pretty well in the world of cinema. I should have been a director instead of a physicist. I probably wouldn't even be in this situation if I were. Of course, that wouldn't be guaranteed, but in that alternate timeline, it would be less likely for me to meet Dr. Gordon, opioids plus alcohol equals heaven, Freeman. I wonder what he's even doing right now. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but still. Once this whole thing blows over, he'll probably try to take credit, only to be greeted by the sights of rifles and red dots, courtesy of the US government. And who? Oh, right, uh, this hole. <laughs> okay, let's get this over with. <clears throat> hey, uh, I'm back. Sorry for the slight intermission, but I had to take a detour in order to ensure that your death is as, uh, deadly as it should be. So you should just really sit back and let me take over. Seriously, I know what you want and I'll give it to you. Hopefully. You do realize that if you don't give me an opening, I won't be able to give it to you, right? So, please? Jesus. Perfect. Just gotta move slowly and keep my voice and movement stifled. <sighs> okay, just calm down, keep moving. I've done this before and I can do it again. Come on, Stark, don't wimp out. We can just keep on moving. We're almost at home base and it's a few meters away. Sure, the thing can chop me into pieces thinner than fucking paper, but just gotta get on with the game plan. Also, you! Stop poking at me, stop! Stay away from me, okay? Just stay down there. It's best for the both of us. Especially me, but you'll see. Oh, are you bored? Is that why? Come on, I'm giving you plenty of toys to play with. You should be entertained! Okay, almost there. This is the shortest way there, and, uh, hey, could you hold this for me? Thanks! I owe you one. I'll repay you in about... three minutes. Now make it two. Or even one. The point is, you're going to have a blast, and it'll be over relatively quickly. Uh, finally made it! Uh, oh, hey! Sorry I took so long. Let me take care of the rest. It's practically over at this point. Just sit back and watch. Okay, I need the metaphorical green light, or the literal one. Perfect. Hey, you ever wonder what 32... <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's hot! <sighs> God, how long is this going to take? Uh, huh? Oh my God, it's over. I, I actually managed to destroy it. Well, I guess it's true. That's some weight off my shoulders. Wait, kill it. Uh, yeah. Wait, did you just quote Predator? I'm... I'm more of an alien guy myself. But hey, you know, at least it's over. Partially. We're a tenth of the way there to stopping this whole damn thing. But at the very least, we can celebrate this. What the hell is this? Oh, you're lost. Well, I can't blame you. It all happened so fast. But if you need a summary, allow me to cut out the filler. There was a giant monster attacking us and I had to deal with it. The outcome? You can call me David now, because Goliath has just been slain.